Out of the black corner, weighing in at 72.6 kilograms, his record, four wins, five defeats, one draw. He comes to us from VAR in France. Please welcome Pierre Rossadini. across the ring in the gold corner, weighed in at 71.15 kilograms. His record, unbeaten as a professional. Seven wins, no losses. He comes to us from Miami by way of Bruxelles, capital, Belgium. Please welcome Ibrahima Di. Well, again, as we've seen so many times tonight, we have another orthodox versus a southpaw. Diallo in the red and white, the southpaw fighter, leading with his right hand. And Pierre Rossadini from France, the orthodox boxer in the white gloves, leading with his left hand. Pretty common occurrence in the Olympics of boxing. We see a lot of this. lead left hand to the body there from Diallo lovely check hook as well from the off here seems really sharp timing his paper punch as well doubling up with the right uppercut and the right hook a lovely bit of variety there from the man in white and red tagged by a counter punch as well from Rossadini, he would like to think he had his home support here being the Monaco as you can hear with the roar of the crowd when he had a little bit of success there the fans reacted quite loudly a sharp jab from Diallo Nice combination, mixing between body and head. Very well, Rossadini. He finished a lively first round there. Both guys have been success. Very hard to score, actually. Buen control de la distancia. Sí. El round fue perfecto. Sí. Quiero que el segundo round sea igual. Okay. No te enfades con él, sigue boxeando así contento, alegre. Tú 
pierna derecha es un gente. Es un gente. Es un gente. Como allá. Solo te vi de cuando lo vi. Si el coche ya, trae el chico. Como allá. Se lo voy a pedir que como allá. Se lo voy a pedir como allá. ¿Ok? See some of the success there from both men in the first round. Having a smile at each other and a little bit of showing mutual respect. Almost great to see an Olympic style boxing. Seconds out. Just falling a little bit short with the counter punch with the right hand there. Nice shot, right hand there. Success with that. Nice right hand to the body as well. Better start here from Rossi Dini. Well, almost a minute gone, he's gained a little bit of foothold. If he can maintain this for the Resuming one one and a half minutes to go. He'll definitely have a much better round than he did in the first round, which was very, very even. But I did slightly lean towards Diallo. This body shot there. From the man in white and blue. He seems to have found a, a nice rhythm for himself here and he's gets combinations off pretty well. to the body there from Diallo dip nice and got loads of leverage on that back hit into the body always pays dividends in the later parts of the contest you land those good body shots early it's almost like putting money in the bank when you really need it you can take it out later on when your opponent will certainly start to feel those and become a little bit more fatigued really does have a lovely right jab though it's very very accurate likes to step in with that jab as well gets good leverage on it probably just not using it enough with enough variety right now there's a number of different ways to throw jabs and you're up against other world class opposition you need to use those varieties of that jab to keep them guessing to set up your, your combination punches to put yourself in good positions, not the good put a punch. This is a really, really exciting bout, just as I thought it would be. These guys want to win a lot. It's another very, very close round. Hard round to call. Certainly went towards the yellow in the first round. Rossidini had a far better second round there. Mira, hey, adelante de tu, adelante de tu mano y trabaja el jab. No solamente una vez, ponselo dos veces. Pero okay. necesito que saques la de atrás, que se la peguen también arriba y abajo. Okay. Necesito un poquito más de boxeo al cuerpo, pero no dentro, fuera. Okay. No hay problema. Okay. Y tu defensa perfecta. Lovely right hook counter. Okay. Off the ropes from Dalio there, as you've seen, but he took a great right hand from Rossidini that I mentioned earlier. Very, very evenly matched contest.
aggressive, and Dali always playing the role of counter punching a little bit. Ahora tiene que trabajar esto tú y mucho, ¿ok? Necesito que sigas trabajando tu jab, que te muevas de pierna. Y es que te muevas de ¿Ok? 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 Yep, Dalio just trying to stay to the right a little bit more now, hoping that that will offset Rossadini's attacks. There's always a little bit of a battle of positioning with Southpaws and Orthodox fighters. Southpaw would preferably like to keep his right foot outside the Orthodox boxer's left foot. Draw lead, get the counters off and get out of the way. In an ideal world, and the orthodox fighter would almost like to do the same. Keep his left foot outside the right paw, the side paw's right foot, and get off his shots. So, what was a real battle? A real interesting battle styles. If you're a boxing aficionado, it's always great to watch a south paw, a top south paw boxer, top orthodox boxer. Lovely check hook there from Dalio. He seems to have found a little bit better of a rhythm for himself in this round. He's, he's 
counter punches and his his jabs have been quite successful but Rossettini likes to pursue the action and put the pressure on and a little bit more active but if you know what you're looking for you can't always mistake motion for action sometimes a fighter can look very busy but he's not actually doing that much effectively and a good judge and a good coach will recognize that all part of the intricacies of the sweet science really this is very very evenly matched contest here men really want to win this contest being a Scotsman I always compare the rivalry between Scotland and England but from what I'm told Belgium and France seem to have a little bit of a rivalry as well I think it's slightly more friendly than Scotland versus England but um, still bragging rights it's a good right hand there from Rossadini Nice comeback there from Diallo. Such an evenly matched contest. These guys seem to have a lot of mutual respect for each other as well, which is really great to see in the sport of Olympic boxing. Well, here we are now in the last round of a contest that sits on the back and really Again, like I said earlier, depending on what you like to watch, and judges are different human beings, and different people that look for different technical abilities in each fighter. Some some judges like aggressive fighters who throw lots of shots, some some judges like technical boxers who are really good counter punchers. So it's very very mixed when it comes to scoring a contest. And that is why so many times in box, and even like tonight, we've seen some contests where you would think that one opponent has perhaps just nicked to victory. All in very close matches. The matches tonight have been unbelievably evenly matched. Really, really close contest to call. And I think myself after 35 years in the sport and nothing else is a bit of an expert, and I've, I've had a couple of wrong calls tonight. Um, but again, a contest that really could have went either way. So it depends totally on what the judges like to see. And of course, it's different. But every contest so far has been intriguing and excellent to watch. We've seen some great skills on show. We've seen some great punching on show as well. Um, particularly from Guruli from Georgia who landed a fantastic right hand over Harshev from Moldova we've seen Gladys Krause's good body shots possibly doing enough to win the, the contest over the brilliant Alan Lopez and again Cavalago against Sarayas from Kazakhstan who I thought Rattus had maybe just picked the contest maybe just a little bit more work a little bit more aggressive Cavalier picked up the victory. So this is boxing, this is the nature of the sport. This is what makes it one of the most 
we've seen the sports in the world and why everyone loves boxing so much and IBA are doing a fantastic job in putting these contests on and the way that they're changing the sport blessing the fighters with financial rewards just fantastic what Umar Kremlev and Chris Roberts and Gabriel Martelli the work that they're doing is just absolutely brilliant and you know you really have to admire it and you know it's it's catching fire across the world I definitely have more people talk to me about Olympic style boxing than do about professional boxing these days which is a brilliant sign so well done to all the guys involved again here we're seeing another really closely contested bout a little flashes of class from, from both boxers. Yeah, well, you would have to say the more calculated counter punch up, a little bit more thoughtful. Looking at some tasty shots where we're seeing Rossi Dini Foste action. Put some nice combinations together. Not afraid to leave himself in a vulnerable position just to get off a good attack. So, fantastic stuff all around tonight thus far.
it and he still pressing the action. He was a little bit lost for words at the end of that. Both guys just, I was just quite captivated in the contest and found myself not speaking very much, but yeah, very, very good about that. Very, very good to watch. Both top quality performers. Hello? Sorry for going a little bit quiet on the listeners, but I was kind of fixated on that contest there. Even us guys that have to relate to the, the listeners what's actually happening can sometimes get caught up in the excitement of the fight and just go, just go a little bit quiet, so apologies there. But what a what a really evenly matched contest to watch. Both guys having success. Both guys showing great variety. And a, a heck of a lot of heart as well. Fantastic to see that kind of mutual respect at the end. Something that's prevalent in boxing. So many boxers know what each other go through. They know what they have to sacrifice to be successful fighters. They all understand that. And when the contest ends, normally they become very good friends and show lots of mutual respect for each other and actually stay friends for a long time after. Very, very unique, fantastic sport in that sense. Well, I've not been overly accurate with my fight outcomes tonight which I must say is very rare for me. I'm normally very good at that. <laughs> but it's been that some of these contests have been so close and so well, um, you know, so so well matched that it's so difficult to, to call a win on some of these contests, which is a great thing. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Niccolo scores the bout 57 points to 57 points a draw. Judge Kambala scores the bout 58 points to 56 points. Diallo. Wow. And our final judge, Masubik, scores the bout 56 points to 58 points for Pierre Rossa. For Rossa Dini. We have a draw. I know, a draw. Well, Looking at my score sheet here, I have it right for the first time tonight. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Um, and I think it was a very fair result. Both guys showed tremendous ability in their own talents. And it was a very, very good matchup as they've all been tonight. And I'm certain that this is a contest that people would like to see again. Just to see who on the better night has the upper hand. But you cannot argue with that draw. I can't argue with that being a draw because I have it even here as well. So Diallo maybe looks a little bit...